Hello and welcome to the Happy Corner of Panarian. As the first time, I'm going to share about the Panarian population maintaining skills to you. <coughs> the intentions for me to start this video is because I faced too many issues in culturing Panarian previously. I don't want you to be the same as me. But still, let's get started. Panarian is an aquatic animal they are living in waters, so the water that is required definitely is the first thing you have to consider about. For the fresh water panarian, the chlorinate tap water will be used. You can either boil it or autoclave it. For food, people will feed them either with liver or hard boiled egg yolk. For liver, you can keep them in the refrigerator and I've kept them in the minus 80s or minus 20s for storing and if they the panarian start to eat they will uh, cover the foot and they will extend their pharynx to suck the foot what is the frequency for feeding you can feed them two to three times a week for cultural expansions and when you put the foot in the culture they will start crowd to the foot for injections. After maybe one and a half hours, they will start to detach from the foot and float on the water surface inverterly. And that's the good signs for you to tell you that they are well fed. After feeding, you should remove the remainders and to change the water after each feeding. And we, I, we repeat it again, change the water after each feeding is the most critical, critical part that you should follow. Will there be any trouble? Yes, of course it will be. So how about what should I do when my parents are start dissociating? I faced this kind of issue during my last Christmas. I was previously culturing them in room temp and during the Christmas holiday, I can't change the water. So when I come back and observe, the parent culture become a soup, a soup with remainders and a lot of pollutant. So what should you do when you face this kind of issue? First, you should take all the parents to a new and clean remainder with fresh water. And for the previous container, you should clean them up with tissue paper. That should be enough. As I have mentioned previously, temperature is also important. So scientists will choose to culture them at around 20 degrees Celsius for conventional reason. And in a lower temperature, the parent will be longer in length and has a lower fission weight. So depends on your goal, you can adjust the temperature for culturing. At the end, will I update a new videos? I don't know. It depends on my lab work progress. So if I my progress is good, maybe I have more time to update a new one. If not, then maybe it's the last one. See you.